Chapter 10 Wild Geese That Ready On Long ago, a man wandered to the land of Musashi and proposed to a woman there. The woman's father wanted to marry her off to someone else, but her mother wanted her to marry a man of noble birth. Her father was from a normal family, but her mother was a Fujiwara. Therefore, her mother wanted her daughter to marry with a man of noble birth. Her mother composed a waka poem and sent it to the prospective bridegroom. The place of residence was in the village of Miyoshi no Iruma, now Iruma, Saitama Prefecture. Miyoshi no no Tano mono kari mo hitaburu ni Kimi ga kata ni zo yoru to nakunaru. The meaning of this waka poem is that the geese in the Miyoshi no rice paddies seem to be crying out to you, saying that they will come to you. My daughter, Who believes in you seems to want to be with you. The mom, chosen as her son in law, returned the worker. Waga kata ni yoru to nakunaru miyoshi no no. Tano mono kari wo itsuka wasure n. The meaning of the waka poem is When shall I forget your daughter in Miyoshino? Who says that she has been asking for my help and has given her heart to me? I will not forget. Even in the place far away from Kyoto, such elegant things. Did not stop. This is the end of the chapter 10. The protagonist will be fully demonstrating his playboyishness. In this period, polygamy was the norm. Another common form of marriage was commuter marriage, in which The husband and the wife did not live together in the same house, but the husband commuted to the wife's house. This is why the protagonist was able to court various women. In this channel, I would like to share you Japanese stories. To ensure you don't miss any updates about Japanese stories, hit the subscribe button and drop a comment saying, I've subscribed. Chapter 11 The Moon in the Sky Once upon a time, a man went to the east and sent his friends a waka poem. From his journey. Wasuru na yo, hodo wa kumo i ni nari nu tomo, sora yuku tsuki no meguri au made. Even so, we are as far apart as the clouds in the sky. Do not forget, as the moon in the sky goes round and round and comes back. To where it came from until we meet again. The tale of i s e continues. The continuing videos will be created by me later. This video starts from chapter 
But please see the URL of the videos up to chapter 9 in the summary section of this video. As I explain each time, most of the pictures in the video are created by me. I cannot draw, so I use AI to create the pictures. I spend a lot of time putting in prompts over and over again, but I just can't get the Japanese clothing and the hairstyle of the time to come out. So the hairstyles, clothes, buildings, etc. in this video are different from the actual ones from that time. The Heian period was the era of aristocrats. The literature of the Heian aristocrats was centered on love. Thank you for watching to the end. Click like. See you next one.